beach. It's also the perfect time for house cleaning. Joining us now with some tips to make that spring cleaning a little easier is Lenny Swinton. He is the executive housekeeper at the Hyatt Regency in Jacksonville. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being I'm, gl I'm glad I get to do this segment with you because I'm OCD. <laughs> so let's get right into it. Awesome. <laughs> when it comes to spring cleaning, where do we even start? First, you need to have a plan. Okay. A plan, my suggestion, a checklist. Okay. A checklist because you want to make sure you hit everything in your home, especially with your spring cleaning. Uh, so create a, a checklist. And again, my suggestion, categorize each task by toughest, to the easiest. So start with the toughest. So start with the toughest. Okay, so what is the toughest? Well, it, it varies. Me personally, I love the bathroom. Oh, I hate the cleaning bathroom. bathroom. What, do you mean? Yes. what do you mean you love the bathroom? The bathroom is... <laughs> Who likes cleaning a bathroom? <laughs> exactly. But my favorite part of the house is the bathroom. I can sing in the shower without okay. anyone listening. You know, I can shave my head. Everything. Then you, okay. So and then I have to clean that up, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's start with the bathroom then, since you said start with the toughest. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so... Um, from what I've heard, many people have clogged toilets. Right. Sometimes a plunger is not accessible, so the only thing you need is a bucket. A bucket and warm water. That's the only thing water. you need to unclog a toilet. You just Plus, have you ever used a plunger and it's hard to plunge? Oh, yes. I don't know how to plunge. Oh, yes. I mean, you get... I'm well, next time it. you call me and I'll help you out. <laughs> I'll All be right. there, okay? Well, all right, so you just get a bucket of water. Just a bucket of water. And that's it. That's it. And just fill the toilet up several times. Now, be careful. You don't want the toilet to overflow. You don't want a pool in your house. Right. Just monitor it every because time you flush that's what I'd be afraid it. of. If yes. you pour the hot water in there and then you go to flush it, then it would overflow. Yes, you got you to gotta be patient. Okay. It'll <laughs> Let it work its magic and then it'll suck it all, all the way right. through. What, what else in the bathroom? Is that what else in the bathroom? The oh, no. Not, absolutely not. How about uh, like hair on the floor and things right, like that? Right. There we go. Hair. So at the Hyatt, one of the, our favorite tools is a sticky roller. Oh, I like this. The sticky roller. It's very easy to get up lint, uh, little debris off the bathroom floors. And for your clothes. Oh, absolutely. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, yes. Um, and then the toilet. The okay. toilet. Um, now, there's so many different products out there for the, right. for the bathroom, especially for the toilet. But you don't need those fancy products. You really don't. Uh, okay. only, thing you, only thing you need is, of course, your uh, toilet brush. Some vinegar. Vinegar, just regular white distilled just vinegar. Just vinegar, okay. white distilled vinegar. Uh, and some baking soda. Baking Got soda it. and some water. Let, his, uh, let the products do its magic. And there you go, just quick flush. Now, for those eco-friendly people, this right. is very perfect. perfect for them. Okay. Yes, there we well, go. Well, let's talk about wall splatter really quick. Because, oh, yes. see, my boyfriend, he has an electric toothbrush. <laughs> okay. And it splatters all over the wall okay. and on the mirror. Oh, and yes. And then I am just like, what did you do to my paint? Right, exactly. So how do we combat that? Okay, now you don't need any fancy products again. <laughs> you can use uh, home homemade products at okay. home um, for waterborne issues okay. like uh, jello, wine, uh, even uh, smash mosquitoes on the wall. Only thing you need is some warm water and a cloth, and it'll rub warm right off. Warm water. Warm water. And that won't ruin your paint. It won't ruin your paint. Okay. Also, now for uh, oil base, um, like grease and mm -hmm. uh, crayons, if you have children, dish soap what? and water. Dish soap. And you just need a rag. And it'll rub right Dish off. Soap. Dish soap. Dawn. Perfect. Dawn. All right, let's get to the floors. Oh, yes. You know, floors are a big problem, whether you have, you know, the tile or you have the carpet. Oh, yes. Well, we'll talk, get into the wine thing on right. the carpet. Absolutely. I know a lot of you guys have the red wine carpet <laughs> issue. All right. Okay. Now, if you want that nice, clean shine on the floor, the only thing you need is some baking soda, some warm water, and a nice uh, mop. And wow. get it going. Get it, and that's all you need. Uh, some people use vinegar, and, and that's okay as well. Um, but... To get that nice shine, baking soda, warm water, and voila. So you're really telling me that everything you've told us right now, you only need pretty much like these three pretty ingredients? Pretty much these three ingredients. And With now, <laughs> warm water. And warm water. Now, the bathroom, Dawn, will be your best friend. You can actually clean all of your surfaces in the bathroom with just Dawn. I can't. This is amazing. Oh, this is great it, tips. It, it is. All right, let's get into the common mistakes that people make. Oh. I mean, you know, I am OCD. I keep my house neat, but I'm mm -hmm. not the best person to clean my stuff. So let's, let's what go, am I doing wrong? Let's go over to the kitchen really quick. All right, let's get now, the kitchen. Now, 
Many people are familiar with the sponge. Mm -hmm. The sponge is not my best friend. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. This, and these things get dirty. Oh, yes, dirty, okay. and it, it carries so many germs and bacteria. Yes. Now, the easiest way to clean a sponge, believe it or not, only thing you need to do is make sure that it's damp, is, is wet, throw it inside of a microwave for two to three minutes. Ew. Ew, but it'll sanitize your, your sponge. <laughs> <laughs> I know, um, but then would, can you put it on something? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Just put it on a cloth and, and, and damp it right off. All right, what and else? And voila, you have a clean sponge. Give us two more common mistakes. Two, mo two more common mistakes. Uh, overusing bleach. Uh -huh. Now, bleach is great for killing bacteria. However, especially uh, when you're cleaning your toilet, bleach is not really doing too much. Mm. Bleach... Bleach is really not. It's Why actually is it not doing anything for your toilet? Because what it is, is, it's killing the bacteria, which is great. But that scum, that buildup that's up under the uh, right. under the toilet, all it is is whitening it. <gasps> that's Ew, all so it is. So it's still there, it's but still... it's just white now? Oh, yes. That is, that is gross. Oh, yes. And one more <laughs> thing, forgetting the doorknobs. Yeah, okay, we got to talk about that. Because every time I have a party or I go to a hotel or whatever, a party in my house or I go to a hotel, <laughs> I'm always cleaning doorknobs. Oh, yes. Yes, that's one of the most common mistakes is forgetting the doorknobs. Right. Believe it or not, your countertops are, are more clean than your doorknobs. The right. Doorknobs are a lot dirtier than... All right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about the donate box. What is this oh, about? Oh, yes. Now, when you think of spring cleaning, what do you think of? Um, I don't know, getting rid of clothes? Okay, getting rid of clothes, getting <laughs> just rid of old, unused items, especially if you have family. Right. Now, my suggestion, you know, uh, create a donate box. Okay. A donate box and, you know, put it somewhere visible in your home. That way it's visible for your entire family to see. It'll also build up that momentum to actually throw things away. Yeah, you know, get or rid get rid of, of some up. things. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us, guys. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you. And thank you guys for joining us, and, and you gave such great tips today. So stay with us, everyone. We will be right back.